seven minutes away from eight. Very big day in Whangarei, where the local council is unveiling the first glimpse of what the former Northland Harbour Board offices could look like with a makeover designed by the celebrated Austrian artist uh, Friedrich Reich uh, Hundewasser. And the artist spent much of his last uh, 30 years in uh, Northland, of course, and he also designed that famous toilet, probably the world's most famous and photographed toilet in Kawa Kawa. Anyway, Richard Smart is with the Hundewasser Foundation, and he was the artist's New Zealand assistant, and he's with us. Good morning. Good morning. Well, what do these plans look like? Uh, well, they're very exciting. It's uh, people who know um, Hondebus uh, architecture will recognise the style. There's um, uh, undulating grass roof which goes right over the building and um, cascades down towards the ground, so people will actually be able to walk up and onto the building. Um, you know, it can be enjoyed by more than just people going to the museum. Itself. Is it a project that's actually going ahead, or is this just a consultation process? Well, this is a, a consultation process. Um, this is introducing it to the public. Um, I'm not really involved in all the politics of it. Um, I'm just really here to present um, the project to the public um, on behalf of the council. What's What's been the Hundavasa impact, if you like, on the region? Has anyone put a number on it? I think there have been some studies done for Kawakawa. Um, it's it's, it's really phenomenal. It's a, it's a small little building in Kawakawa, public toilet, and um, the number of tourist buses and, you know, people that are stopping there every day, it, it's immense. I don't, I don't know the numbers offhand, but um, it's a lot. And you, you would argue this new building, if it goes ahead, would only enhance that? Absolutely. I mean, um, a lot of uh, people who are coming to New Zealand to investigate from the bus or find out about him or how, what he was doing here, We'll know about the toilets and um, that those were the uh, sort of origin of, of his architecture here. And we'll see that as the sort of holy grail of the Hundertwasser uh, happenings in New Zealand. So if they're coming to Whangarei, it's just a short hop to Kawakawa. And there's, there's no, no doubt in my mind that um, Kawakawa is going to get a huge spin-off from uh, Whangarei's action. What's the magic about what he does? Um, well, it's hard to put a finger on it, but it, it's... it's it makes you feel good. You go into any of these buildings, you even go into the toilets at Kawakawa, um, you just feel good. It, it's alive, it's it's fun. And, you know, in being involved in the construction there, it's, and afterwards it's it's interesting to stand around and watch people go in and out. And, and regardless, people come out with a smile and um, that's reflected in his architecture all over the world. Um, and it, it's just that principle that, you know, if your environment is... is beautiful and you enjoy it, um, it's going to make you feel good and, and it happens like this with all this other stuff. So very good, Richard. Appreciate it. I'm Richard Smart, who is with the Universe uh, Foundation. Um, I know there's a little bit of local politics around it. There's a cost, um, no, a blowout's too strong a word, but there's increasing costs around it, and somebody was suggesting what they really need is a finding referendum there instead of a consultation process, but I'm sure they'll work their way through it. It is four to eight. Oh, the feedback coming in thick and fast. I'm taking a bit of heat over the old um, Lance Armstrong comment earlier on in the program. I support Lance Armstrong um, for, for, well, I mean, there's no proof that he's done.